Hello, and welcome to Wild McLean's series of Tech Tip videos. I'm Brian, and today we will be discussing our Ecotech boilers and how to clean the heat exchanger flue passages. The details of this procedure are outlined in the manual, so make sure you have a copy of it for reference. Also, the maintenance kit for the boiler is required to perform the cleaning, which will contain a new set of gaskets and a new electrode. Now, we are going to take a close look at some of the items of particular concern involved in this job. First, be sure the unit is cooled and power is disconnected. After removing the door and control bracket, unplug the display and set it in a safe place. Next, we will remove the components in the order listed in the manual. Remove the air silencer, gas valve, and flexible gas line. Disconnect the wire harness to the gas valve and blower. Disconnect the gas valve from the Venturi. Remove the blower Venturi assembly. Remove the blower from the cover plate. Remove the burner tube, except in the 150 size. Cut the tape that secures cover plate top insulation. Disconnect the ground wire and ignition cable from the electrode. Remove electrode. Remove heat exchanger cover plate and burner from the cover plate. Brush and vacuum burner. Inspect and vacuum the heat exchanger. If vacuuming does not remove all the debris, remove the control module, then wash the heating surfaces with warm water and rinse with warm water. Never use any type of solvent or cleaner. Rinse the condensate trap with warm water. To reinstall the components, work backwards from the teardown procedure, making sure the details in the manual are followed. The components must be installed in order and to specified torque requirements. Reinstall the control module, the burner, burner insulation, and gasket onto the cover plate. Reinstall the igniter and gasket, and the blower venturi and gas valve. Make sure you use the gasket between the blower and the cover plate. Next, replace the gas valve fiber washer and tighten. Reinstall the air silencer, then the silencer clip. Once the boiler is reassembled, perform a complete startup procedure to put the boiler back in service. See page 97 in the manual for those details. Well, thanks for watching and be sure to keep an eye out for new videos so we can help you keep your customers happy.